What's not a scam, but totally is a scam. Cable TV prices, they don't need to charge that much they're just greedy. Mom if you tell the truth I won't get mad. This has been the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals, ever. It's more like, if you tell the truth now I won't get as mad as if you lie to me and then find out the truth. And then you find yourself grounded for the next 20 years because yeah, mom's being mom's carrot. Diamond prices and market value. Dab ears. People don't really care if a diamond is real or man made anymore, so RIP to that old industry, and good for that too, because blood diamonds were a atrocious thing. Moissanite's prettier anyway. I'm really hoping Moissanite will become the new diamond, just to stick it to deep ears. Yeah and stop funding paramilitary private parties. Macro transactions and video games. Quick, duck, Epic Games is gonna buy another game for his little posse. I mean it pretty much is. It's a game element specifically designed to play on well-known psychological hooks which a small percentage of players have little to no control over, i.e., whales. These elements are not there in any way to make the game better. They're in there because game companies have caught end on to the idea that they have a gambling Wild West new frontier to exploit before laws close up the loopholes. Insurance of any kind. In a lot of cases it's required by law, you have to pay into it on a regular basis, none of which count towards anything but being able to say you're covered by it. If something happens, and you actually need it, you have to pay more money, to be able to use it. And once you do need it, you get a laundry list of what isn't covered, which is almost always a problem you came to them with. I knew I was forgetting something. The real job of an insurance company, to find ways, to not pay out your claim. And then they try to weasel out of it anyway. Hey, that hailstorm damaged my roof. $19,000 please. Hey, you said we were covered. No we said up to that much. Up to- Scalping tickets, buying collectibles just to wrestle them, and so on. If I wait in line in ridiculous weather at Disney World to buy limited iron Funko Pops, then you better believe I'm going to wrestle them. Not everyone lives right next to Disney World and those things are coveted. Funko Pops dafuck is that? Funko Pops are a super popular collectible item. They are modeled after characters from various pop culture genres. They have basically every Disney character ever, all of the popular TV shows and movies, old school Nicktoons, musicians, historical figures, etc. Just a fun, addictive, collectible. I don't even care about the collectible value. I have a few, just because I like them. They used to sit on my desk at work, now they're on my bookshelf at home. Scratch-offs, or any lottery for that matter. I don't know my mom just won 40 bucks the other day which I sent a lot, but it's definitely more than I thought anyone ever could. Side note yes the both of us probably spend more than we win, but it is fun. Exactly it's not a scam, but it totally is lol. Mfing time shares. I have had three dumb friends over the last 20 years get into something over their heads. Only one got out. I also watched a ton of TS horror stories via Yatub and blogs. They even have get out of TS lawyers now. A few may be okay, but still beware. Can confirm I worked in timeshare. What exactly are timeshares? Not my first language, so I likely know them by a different name, unless it's like a 100% US concept. Instead of buying a condo on a beach, you buy a timeshare. So you and 52 other people get the right to use the condo for one week a year. It's less expensive than owning it in theory as you don't have to pay for the mortgage all year, but only one week of it. The issue is that blackout dates and fees they tack on make it way more expensive and harder to use than if you just went to Airbnb and rented a house in that town for a week. Get rich quick and get any guy girl x back lol self help books tutorials. A lot of them are scammy, but a lot of them can actually help too. I would only go with proven trusted professionals, like in anything in life. Have you found any that can help? College tuition and textbooks. Textbooks are the biggest joke in terms of higher learning. For one, the internet is a thing, and has entirely more expansive and up-to-date information than any text written 6 to 12 months prior ever could. 
the biggest BS in the industry is that publishers will often give incentive and kickbacks to schools who mandate each new year buying the current iron, which is often times 95% plus the same exact content as previous years. The release of new irons of textbooks like those for math are laughable concepts, given that entry-level math has remained virtually unchanged for decades. Worse is the supplemental content online. So if you do resell your book the next student does not have access to the online quizzes and exams many instructors base a heavy percent of your grade on. Higher education basically comes with DLC and macro transactions now. On the other hand, the internet will also tell you that bleach cures autism. Travel websites. They know your zip code and only show options that pay them the highest commission. Internet companies that have monopoly on the city area, so you have no other choice but to pay high prices. Paying to park at a hospital or the university you pay to attend. This, I started seeing a new doctor recently, and their building has a two-hour parking zone street parking or paid parking parking lot. Be it private, national or the US Lovecraftian mess. If you want to park in the car park, pay up yo. Store award cards. You basically have to spend the GDP of Qatar in order to receive a free plastic spoon. C. You'll work from home, set your own hours, selling a quality product to your friends, family, co-workers, anyone really. And, if they like the product, they can become salespersons under you, in your downline, earning money for you. Branding DSL as fiber optic I sold AT&T and other telecom internet services via a third party company 1.5 megabits per second is branded as AT&T U-verse. They were allowed to call it fiber because it was fiber to the node. Multi-level marketing companies like Amway and Rodman Fields. Those DNA ancestry tests like 23 and perhaps some elaboration is needed. Basically, you are paying these companies to hoard your genetic data and sell it to the highest bidder. If that's not a scam, I don't know what is. There are mid-marketing schemes even the ones where they tell you that people who don't understand this specific business model will call it a pyramid scheme, but it's totally not then they proceed to describe a pyramid scheme. Wedding ring should be 3 months salary, tf. Saving up 3 months salary while paying other bills would take a very long time. Vivint security and home automation. I used to sell Vivint. It used to be APX alarm. Multiple lawsuits later, and they will not call themselves a home security company anymore. Their devices are not rated like other companies. If you want to secure your home EU are sent KEEP valuables out of sight EU are sent OWN a small and loud dog EU are sent LOCK your windows doors EU are sent DON apostrophe T live at the end of the streets. In other words, don't make yourself an easy target. If you absolutely feel the need to get a home security system, buy your own equipment. Otherwise, search for a local company and specifically one that does not work with ADT, Vivint, or any other big companies. Keep receipts for big ticket items and keep your guns in a safe. A stolen gun is worth a lot of money. EU are sent OWN a small and loud dog all right. Barky Macas hold the corgi really is earning her keep. The convenience fee when buying certain things online. Tipping waiters. Tipping because it's expected and calculated into people's pay there is a minimum wage in the US, but employers somehow skirt this and force waiters to use tips as a living wage. I don't get this. If there is a minimum wage, how can you not pay it? I don't know for absolute sure, because I'm not American, but I believe tips are considered to be part of the wage. So if minimum wage is $10 hour, you can pay your employees $5 hours, provided the tips they receive bring that amount up to the legal minimum. You are correct. They are part of our wage. If you make less than minimum wage even after tips, then your employer has to make up the difference. This happened to me once, so I got a paycheck with like $2 on it where your dreams come true they say, lol. Basically any vacation package, you can usually travel for less expensive and have more freedom to do things outside of the itinerary if you purchase the things yourself, flight, hotel, food, etc. Not all cases, but certainly most. Wanna buy some Invigoran? If you join my downline you will make a fortune due to our innovative inverse funnel compensation system. Just trust the man in the coil.
only has a 99.9% .9 failure rate, but you are smarter and harder working than all of them, right? Seriously though, MLMs in general are legal scams. Depends on when someone brings a lawsuit to the court. Cellular data plans, but especially unlimited data plans that throttle you. I tried Verizon's basic unlimited, which costs $80 a month per line including talk and text and cold and even use my phone, because LTE speeds were 0.02 Mbps. Me want some 18 I don't have to listen to my parents anymore. Jim Murmur seeps oh go all the time and it's a great deal, but if everyone went all the time, they'd go broke, but they don't, because most people never go. Avocados and lottery tickets. Both have a fixed cost, and an unknown ROI. Streetwear. I have no idea why someone is willing to pay ridiculous amounts of money, to wear everyday looking clothes. But, but this t-shirt has a large word on it. Surely that's worth paying a few hundred extra bucks. TBH I like the way it all looks, but the price is man. A lot of amateur photographers. People are really out here paying $200 an hour for a session with someone who just bought an entry level DSLR a couple months ago for pictures that are only better than iPhone pictures, because they are a bit higher resolution. Premium currency in video games, that you can only buy in one increment, and spend in a totally different increment. You can buy 500 fake units for $5 but everything, that you can use it to buy in the game costs 300 fake units. No matter what you do you'll never cash out. You'll always have a small useless amount, attached to your account. Real estate. Hey, give me money on a regular basis, so you can live here. Did you make the building? Nope. Are you gonna do anything to the building? Eh, not really. Then why should I give you money? Because everybody else is just as bad. Who what are you paying in this scenario? Rent? Rent, yes. But the same could be said for mortgages. This is a basis of ownership in a capitalist economy. Seems scammy, but is grounded in reasonable principles. True. Same with basically everything else in this thread. Scientific research articles. My college has a lot of subscriptions to different sites. When I got home my EEE's floor wanted like $15 for 7 pages in an analysis of the current panorama of data science. You can also email the author and they are typically happy to provide you a copy for free. A lot of charity unfortunately, some part of donations go to the cause, many people make a lot of money from charity, I worked for a charity call center and got 25, 30% APREX of everything I brought in. Hallmark cards or similar greeting card things. Gym membership. You'll spend a few hours at the gym, and many hours feeling guilty for not going to the gym. Printers, they sell for pretty cheap, but break after a year or two. Also, the ink is extremely overpriced, but there's no way around the cost of it. Laser printers work like a charm, if you don't care much about color printing. I've had one for like 5 years, and still on the original toner cartridge. I don't print much though. Batteries have an absurdly high markup. Suburbia living in Thibidia, that kids need to be raised with space around. People move far then get dependent on cars, so they get nicer and nicer ones and chase nicer jobs, to have nicer cars and things in their houses, because it's the only entertainment in their isolated suburbs. Not all suburbs are like that mind you, but way I I I I too many are, and they promote a point way of living, that is just a dog chasing its tail. If you, or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma. Free shipping with Amazon Prime, in the US. Prime includes a bunch of other stuff, but there are still countries where Prime is basically nothing but free shipping for an annual fee. Not really a scam. It's not free shipping it's unlimited 2 day shipping. In the US we had Prime before all the bells and whistles, when it was just unlimited 2 day, because we ordered enough stuff $99 a year was cheaper than the regular shipping. Gift cards. So many go unused. Revenue received and no good services rendered. Everyone here saying taxes, and I want to differentiate and saying come taxes. The more you work and earn, the more you pay, so productivity equals punishment. Consumption taxes should be the thing. Value added taxes, maybe. But tax me for doing what humans naturally do think and work, but send me a check, if I don't work. Scam. The problem with sales consumption taxes it hits those who can't afford it harder than those who can. We can accept 
that there's a certain minimum cost needed to live. If your income is near that level, sales tax is basically a flat increase in taxes when you're at a point that it's borderline crippling. Here are some warning signs that an online love interest might be a fake. They ask you to chat off of the dating site immediately using personal email, text, or phone wire money using Western Union or MoneyGram set up a new bank account. Multi-level marketing equals pyramid scheme I did the research looked up the definitions and there is no difference it's all semantics. Games as a service. I'm with Ross Scott on this one. Printer ink. Cheap to make expensive to buy. Liberal arts degrees. Maybe it's legitimated a scam though. Dental insurance. Most of the time you're better off just paying out of pocket. Honey. That app that allows you to collect coupon codes. I haven't used it personally, but from what I've seen I'm fairly certain that it could steal your CR card information without you knowing. Acupuncture. It's just needles randomly put in you. It's not ancient magic Chinese healing. It's the same as if I gave you sugar pills and told you they were magical. Weddings. Marketing and media have told us we need extravagant weddings. Add in the cost of stuff triples, if they know it's for a wedding 50k on a tacky 3 hour party or a down payment on a new house or savings, tough choice. Acupuncture works for certain things. It sure isn't a cure all, but it can do things for pain. Basically you're playing nerves like a guitar, to create a specific response. The best description I've heard it's it didn't do anything directly, but it does trigger the brain telling glands to do things to basically not really reduce pain, but for a while, increase your pain threshold, and make it more bearable my wife says it's soothing the same way a massage is, and they changed it up when she was pregnant to help her with just the general pains of that, and it brought her some relief. Watching a show, being entertained by it, even though it's totally staged, and you know it. Uber Eats. How does one meal from Sonic cost $16? Without tipping my driver? I used it once, when I wanted McDonald's and the only vehicle available was my semi. Wasn't about to take that to McDonald's, so I did Uber Eats. $17 for a 2 cheeseburger meal until tip. No thanks. It's definitely not worth it on something dinky. We used Grubhub for the first time last night, because someone gave us a $50 gift card for it. It's questionably expensive got a normal takeout, but got fast food, utterly insane.